today with another video of yet another square body. This truck we've had for the past few months, hadn't really done anything to it yet other than the inside. It's probably been the background of a few of our other videos, but redone the whole inside pretty much. re the door panels. We're eventually gonna get new door panels in there, but at the time, the time crunch we've already done this. We just re dyed everything, so we may be going back and doing something else in there. All right, this 84 GMC today, we're going to be lowering it. A quick rundown of the truck, how we got it, what's been done to it. We acquired this truck in a trade back a couple months ago. Like I said, we've done the inside, but other than that, everything else in the truck is how you see it, it's how we got it. So it comes with a seven inch rally wheels on it. It was Something like this, it didn't have the body molding off or on it, missing this emblem. Didn't have bed rails on it, they were off. But um, as far as the quality of the truck, it's a straight truck. It's black, so it's gonna show everything on it. It's got a few dents, dings here and there on it. Mostly door ding stuff. It ain't, it ain't giant dents on it. Rockers, cab corners, extremely solid on this truck. The whole underneath side of it's solid, which is, Find a square body now, it's always iffy on the cab corners and rockers known to rush. That's one of the top places on these trucks. But they're all extremely solid. And um, it's also LS swap. Something else, yeah, it's also LS swap, which is once again how we got it. We did not, did not do the swap on it. If we did, there would be some different things done. It's a good running driving truck. It is kind of just kind of thrown in here. Kind of thrown in there. We were told it's a 4.8 and it's got a. We're believing a stage two BTR in it. Yeah, it has a BTR cam in it. It, it sounds good. You'll hear it later in the video when we move it back to the shop up there. But all the thing we've done under here is put the intake on it. This one because it had the giant factors like a Tahoe intake on it, which are. I think are ugly, so we just threw that on here for now, just to. But other than that, get it looking better. This is exactly how we got it. So if we go to the back of the vehicle, the truck here. We will go over kind of what we're going to be doing to lower this thing. As far as lowering this truck up front, we're going to be doing a three-inch lowering and spring here. We'll be using CPP springs. We've never used any CPP stuff before, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. So we're gonna try it on this truck. And in the back, we're gonna be setting it either four or five inches lowered, which we got an adjustable uh, drop shackle so we can move it. But as far as that, we're gonna be using a Belltech spring hanger drop. We've never done a spring hanger drop on these trucks. We've done flip kits, but not <clears throat> spring hanger. So we're going to be going with that Belltech as well as Belltech shocks. We've used them on literally everything we've lowered so far with mm -hmm. these Belltech shocks. And had zero work. problems out of them. Zero problems. We've used everything Belltech on everything all the stuff we've yeah. lowered. It's zero problems with it. So we're going to try CPP up front of these because two I couldn't find. Belltech three inch lowering springs at the time. I'm not for sure. I don't think they make them for this truck. I may be wrong, but I know I've got two inch springs, but I can't, I couldn't find three. So. And the reason we're not running like a two inch spindle and a one inch shock is, or a spring, cause if we had to, we'd like to run the rallies on here. Mm -hmm. And if you go with a bigger spindle, it drops your ball joint down too far and you can't clear the 15 inch rallies. That's just, so. for if, if we want to put them back over here, we can. Also, we didn't mention it, the other little bracket there, that's a rear shock extender. Um, you just get, that's got off eBay, it's just. Uh, it drops the rear shock drops down. The rear shock, gives it more travel in it. So it's not as a stiff a ride, so. Anyway, with that being said, I think we're going to start with the front, so we're going to get the front jacked up and then get those springs in it. Mm -hmm. 
five minutes into this truck and got the two front wheels off okay right side wheel comes off fine over well up. halfway fine they were on there to our driver's side here okay so if you notice we have three studs there two of them just happened to be missing half of them which i have here in my hand and they decided to stay in the lug nut there so with the whoever put these wheels on last for one thing they've tightened them way too much because that impact barely took them off which is rare it was very rare and two they decided to <laughs> cross thread two of them for us so and they must have been a big fan of free loctite because oh, let me tell you they was not backing out they wouldn't come out anyway i think we've now decided we're gonna go ahead and just put two new rotors up front we're gonna have to put studs in i believe the studs come with these rotors so they did on our k5 so i believe we're gonna go ahead and do that put new bearings in it just rebuild the front end there anyway and try we're to eliminate rotors and studs just to eliminate more problems we put our other wheels on it so uh so we'll get back to it with these swapped out somebody's probably gonna get some rotors so we'll check back in later <laughs> Got the spring off the front, went ahead and got the shock off, got the spindle off the ball joint to get all that off. And you can see the comparison here of our old shock to our new one, not shock, spring. Our shock right here was pretty much useless. Pretty much wore out, original 1984 issued right there. Seen, seen better days. Completely wore out, so it was pretty much useless on here. We're ending up going to put the Rotors, new rotors new on rotors. there. That way it takes care of our broken stud problem. All right, we just got both sides tore apart as you've seen. Now it's time to set the spring back in it. Start going back together. As well as our new rotors. We got That's right. Just got them. new rotors with studs, so we're good to go. All right, just got the front knocked out here, both sides. Went together pretty good after our lug nut problem, so. Took a little longer than we hoped, but. Yes, and we could have just put studs in that and went with it, but. Eventually, we was going to put rotors on it anyway. I'm glad we went ahead and done it. So. We're probably eventually going to put calipers, and it's going to have to have pads on it for long, so we're going to roll with it for now. But anyway, it turned out pretty good. We're about to put the wheels back on it. To set it down and. Get on the ground. We ain't going to do the back tonight. We run out of time, so we'll be back tomorrow for the back. Back with day two of Lowland 84 GMC Sierra square body. As you can see, after we lower the front, it put it down there. I mean, put it pretty low, compared it to our, our K5 over here. Our K5 has a three inch spring with a two inch spindle, making it five up front and this truck just has a three inch spring they're they're setting pretty similar well even though this one has a 20 inch wheel and a 29 inch tall tire that's pretty similar setup to what this one's going to have so it should bring the front up a, a little bit but it's i mean it 
Potentially be tucking tire probably. And it's got all the rake right now. Yeah, it's got all the rake. We're, we're minus three in the front and the uh, stock in the back, so yeah, it looks, it looks kind of weird. We actually debated on leaving it like this and just putting a big fat drag slick in the back and yeah, yeah, not really, but we've already got the bed pretty much pre-prepped to go ahead and come off. Like we said yesterday, we're doing a two inch spring anchor drop in the rear so you don't have to pull the bed i've seen videos of people doing it without pulling the bed but i'm gonna do it anyway just because it's everything's easier to get to when there you're dead stressing over you ain't throwing sparks all over yourself over everything. and so anyway we're gonna get this bed pulled off and hopefully this forklift right here is the forks are long enough to get up in here because we don't i don't want to bring the other one down here right now so unless i have to but we'll see we'll find out so anyway we're about to get to it It got the it job got Just some four before's and ratchet strap now. Don't come at us in the comments. Yeah, we had two fork extensions on our fork lift. That's about. So, well, the original plan was to do this at the body shop. Now they had the, the big fork lift and this bed would have, it's got the fork extensions on it. We about 14 it foot forks on it and you know, and it would have been no, nothing. No but. problem, but this up here, uh, we just had to make do what we had for now, so I'm going to grab two pieces of wood and then pick it up. It works, so hey, but the work. bed's off, that's all that matters. Bed's off, I'm about to get these factory spring fingers cut off and then go a little back close over to the, the fuel tank, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't know exactly how far we'll get tonight, but we're going to try to get most of this knocked out tonight.
finished up our spring hanger drop with our drop shackles and our new shots back here. I mean, it kind of went like the front a little bit, kind of fought or kind of fought it the whole way there. Because I mean, I honestly expected better from bell tape. We've had zero problems from them with everything else we've done, but on here, literally every single hole for the mounts, the front of there, and even the drop shackle, all had to be, had to be uh, reamed out, yeah. drilled out a little bit. The bolt, the head, or the end of the bolt would line up, but it would not go through it. It wasn't big enough, but they do say in the instructions to rim the uh, frame out here for the hanger mount to get on, to go on, but we decided to just shim the, uh, or just slot the, the hanger, hanger bolts instead of hanger holes. cutting up, or instead of drilling out the frame. It's, it's like maybe an eighth inch on each one to give enough play to get on there, but other than that, it took a little bit longer than we expected, but That's this thing is, it's setting pretty low for just a, for what it is. Yeah, for what it is. I mean, and we ended up going with a two inch hanger and a three inch shackle. So it is a three five. We couldn't decide at first whether we wanted a three four or three five. And we just decided to go three five to start off. And if it's a little squatty, we can always put it at four, so. Yeah, we made a decision also to leave the shock extenders off for now. Cause I mean, they'll be sitting there pretty low to the ground. I'm just gonna leave them off for now. If I have to, we'll go back and put them on. Which shouldn't be anything. Yeah, also end up taking this bumper off. I don't know if I mentioned it or not earlier. We've got like the sport bumper. With Smooth the bumper. Side right here, same bumper as that. Give a cleaner look. We've got one up there. Just so, uh, just never been a fan of the step bumpers on two-wheel drive. Uh, Four-wheel drive, I can understand. But two-wheel drive, I've never been a fan of either, so. Anyways. Anyway, we're gonna get to get these bed, you gotta cut the bed braces for the drop drop shackle to go on because the bed brace rides right here, so you gotta just arch it out right there. Which shouldn't be no problem. Shouldn't be. I'm about to cut that and hopefully we're gonna get these bed or get this bed set back on here. <laughs> We got the bed set back on it with our homemade forks here. Once again, they worked for the situation we had. And so we actually got real lucky. The, the fork lift, we think, may have just ran out of propane. Yeah. Anyway, as we, we got the bed set back on it. Truck looks good. I like it. Very, very drivable. Streetable. Stance to it. Yeah. It's not as low as our K5 in there, but it's still very, very practical, very drivable truck. Anyway, you want to give a sneak peek of the wheels? Yeah, I'll just kind of a just just a little. Yeah, some some of y'all probably know. All right, well maybe not. But. 84 GMC. That's three inch drop in the front, five in the rear. Like I said, very drivable. Shouldn't have any problems with it. Anyway, come back in our next video. We reveal everything we've done, or re reveal the wheels mainly, and then we'll have some other stuff on it by then. Some little odd and end stuff. Yeah, just little, so. little details that kind of make the whole thing look better. So, anyway, check back for the next video, and we'll see you on the next one.